Nestled in the majestic Himalayan range lies Nepal, a country rich in culture and natural beauty. But beneath this picturesque landscape lies a nation grappling with educational challenges, especially in rural areas. In Nepal, access to quality education remains a distant dream for many, with rugged terrain, remote villages, and socioeconomic disparities. Ensuring every child receives a proper education is a daunting task. It is obvious that Nepal needs support in the rural and urban education realm. However, before we can make a change in this area, we first need to see examples of how this can be done. A very prominent example of this is the founding of the Edmund Hillary School in the Kumjung region of Nepal. This school was built with contribution from Sir Edmund Hillary, the first man to ever grace the summit of Mount Everest. However, Hillary did not summit Everest alone. Along with Hillary was Nepal native Tenzing Norgay. Norgay was of the Sherpa ethnic group of Nepal, a culture nestled in between the largest mountains on earth. After the initial summit of Mount Everest, Sherpas were in many cases acquiring jobs as porters to help western climbers climb up the slopes of Everest as early as 13 years old. Upon Hillary's arrival in this region, Hillary met children and adults alike from the region deprived from a substantial education. At the time, Nepal had 310 primary schools and middle schools, 11 high schools, two colleges, one normal school, and one special technical school. In the early 1950s, the average literacy rate was 5%. Literacy among males was 10%, and among females it was less than 1%. Only one child in 100 attended school. If there was anything I could do for the Sherpa people, what do you think that could be? Our children have eyes but they cannot see. We would like you to open their eyes by building a school in our village. Together, we will build a school. The original first years of the school were rocky, with little to no teachers and students having to walk hours upon hours to make it to school. However, with perseverance through years of development, the school now has 7,000 students learning at 150 earthquake-strengthened classrooms built at 36 schools in rural Nepal. These schools are managed and mainly supported by the Himalayan Trust, an organization founded by Sir Edmund Hillary to ensure the well-being of the people of rural Nepal. The Himalayan Trust not only supports children's education, they also build and equip hospitals and support the healthcare workers that keep Nepali communities healthy. The Himalayan Trust as well builds clean water systems for the people of Nepal, as well as a variety of other projects, such as earthquake rebuilding and environmental work. However, the Himalayan Trust is not the only organization to make the effort to support Nepali education and well-being. Additionally, organizations like the Appa Sherpa Foundation, founded in 2010, have been founded in later years following the founding of the Himalayan Trust. The Appa Sherpa Foundation was founded by Appa Sherpa, a climbing guide from the Khumbu Valley. possibly one of the greatest climbers of all time in Nepal, having summited Everest 21 times. Appa joined the climbing industry as a young 12-year-old after his father's tragic death. Appa had to take up responsibility of his family, consisting of his mother, two sisters, and three younger brothers. He started working as a porter for mountaineering groups. His climbing career began in 1985 as a kitchen boy and a climbing porter. He summited Everest for the first time in 1990. 
Appa Sherpa was born into poverty and rose to become the greatest ever climber in the history of Mount Everest. Appa struggled greatly to obtain a modest education in his youth and worked diligently to provide his family amidst difficult economic circumstances. Today, he endeavors to provide opportunities he never had to the next generation, starting from his home village in Nepal. The overall goal of the Appa Sherpa Foundation is to improve educational outlets for the children of Nepal and to deter them from going into the dangerous jobs of the climbing industry. In fact, of all 323 deaths on Mount Everest since the first attempts of climbing, 125 of those deaths were Sherpa porters and climbing guides, guiding foreign climbers up the treacherous slopes of Everest. With educational contributions from the Appa Sherpa Foundation and others like it, the future of Nepali children in the area should be prosperous, for education opens up entire new worlds of opportunities for these children. The future of the Himalayan Trust and the Appa Sherpa Foundation look prosperous for the future of helping children in rural Nepal. However, how can American high school students make a change in this region of the world? To put things into perspective, the average literacy rate in Nepal is 64.9, while in the United States, it is closer to 79%. What can we do to help this region? When we talk civic engagement, political engagement, the only office that we think about is Through civics engagement projects at schools in California, this project can now be possible. Like the Appa Sherpa Foundation and the Himalayan Trust, the Advocacy for Education in Nepal, a foundation founded by American high school students, is a charity with the goal of helping the students of rural and urban Nepal. Our goal is to provide school supplies and protect the children of rural Nepal to guide them to prosperous futures wherever they choose to go. Through spreading awareness through our high school's TV show, I'm Aiden. I'm Maya. I'm Nina. And I'm Zach. As well as through an Instagram account and website, we are able to educate thousands of students at our school and around the district. And we're doing a project, a civics project on uh, improving schools in rural Nepal. Through this, we can gather donations to send school supplies. More about our project, it's just helping rural Nepal education, funding supplies, and raising advocacy for our program. And others' essentials like textbooks and other learning devices. Go follow our Instagram at Advocacy for Nepal. This is just the beginning for the advocacy for education in Nepal. Please consider donating to our cause. Follow our Instagram at advocacy for Nepal, linked in the description. Any and all donations will go to the rural education communities of Nepal. Thank you for watching.